what is going on? Saran comes in handy, the Trade and Service Solutions. Let me get right into it. Got two jobs today, both plumbing. So one of them um, actually is like two and a half jobs. Well, yeah, let's just say two jobs. The first job has two problems. I got a, uh, don't you just hate when like bees or flies go in your ear for like what? So the first problem is that um, the uh, the massive bathroom has a steady drip, steady leak or whatever. So check it out. It's dripping from the spout and from the cartridge, um, the handle. So I know that the stem is bad. Um, and then also I was here about a month ago to respond to a, a, a rodent um, report. And so I just have to fill in these holes that are around the house where rodents can get access to. So the first thing we're going to do is turn off the water. And But the problem is that this thing is, is gone bad. It doesn't turn off, just keeps spinning. So there's the water. The main shut off right there. Oh, no, that's PG&E. So where's the main shut off over here? Right here. Ah, oh, great. Just great. <clears throat> All right, so here's the tub. She says she stopped, um, she put a stopper in there since Thursday, and this is how much the tub has filled up. So you can see, water is off. But there's a drip from here, and there's a drip, steady drip coming from there. So let's, uh, a ton of water out, but let's drain all the water out. Um, turn this on. Let the water drain. So that stopped. Just gotta make sure everything's out of these pipes right here. I already took the, the cap out right here. Where is it? Right there. You can tell this is old, <laughs> the gold trim. All right. There's a Phillips screw in there. Let's take this out. Is this P Fister? Okay. Mm, got to take out everything. So, all right. So here's the the cartridge right here. I had to put this the handle back on to take it out. I think it was rusted, really in there. So make sure you get the the O ring out. Because the O-ring goes like right here, I believe. Or it's right there. Let's see. Oh, falls right in there. See, I don't see uh, any damages to this. This looks pretty good. Even the O-ring. But yeah, I'm going to go to Plumber Supply and get into one of these. And um, yeah, be back here to fix this. All right, here's a new one. The other one had like a plastic cylinder in there. This one looks like it's a metal, so hopefully it's a better quality. So I cleaned that out the best I could. I'll slip this right here. Perfect. Make sure it sits all the way in there. You can tell by that tab right there, so it's all the way at the end. Then this guy. Goes in next. All right, no more drip. New package right here. Just had to replace it. Bad cartridge happens. And yeah, no more drip. 
we're good. All right, so we're on the outside. This is the exterior garage door, side door. There was a big gap at the uh, the middle or at the bottom. So they told me just to put like a weather strip, just kind of right here, just to block access for rodents. So I did that. Um, then I phoned up this space right here where the AC line goes to. You see the previous person put like some um, poison bait and that's like evidence that the rats have been eating it I think that's it for the outside all right check out the first trap nothing nothing in here and there's one more trap right here Gotta get the key for that one. And this was an easy job. This was off. And the plate was just down there with the screw. They could have just screwed it back on, but let me do it. We're all done. On to the next job. Alright, next job. You see they just did their carpet. This unit is vacant. And it said that the laundry room is leaking. <gasps> so let's take a look at it. I think it's right here, yeah. So. Ah, yep, there it is right there. Let's see. So it looked like it's a. Looks like it'd be a real simple thing. Actually, so just order a new valve or shut off valve and we should be good. Um, and these look like they just screw in. Okay, cool. That should be easy. Easy job. All right, we are back. So went to Hope Depot, got me a brand new one. This almost identical. I turn the water off. As you can see, there's still some water dripping. So, actually, there's a drain right here. So, let me just turn this on just a little bit. Get the remaining water out. Ooh, there's a little mist coming out. So, I'm going to drain the water out. All right, so I took it off. Since it's such a tight space, I took the, the turn valve on the handle off. And I'm gonna put this one on by itself. And then I'm gonna put that on later. And I got my right angle drill adapter. All right, we got the new one on. Hopefully I didn't unscrew nothing that's in the wall. Cause that top piece does screw or move. So let me go turn all these waters off from the off position. I think I did a massive bedroom also. Nope, not the massive bedroom. Where's the massive bedroom at? Over here. Turn these off. We're gonna go turn the water on. And we'll see if we have any leaks. I hope we do not. And by the way, let me put this pan. Now we're going to see if I did it correctly. The thing that sucks, the thing that sucks is that I got to turn this water on, hurry up and run back upstairs to see if I did it correctly. If I didn't do it correctly, I got to hurry up and 
back downstairs and turn the water off. nothing yet. <laughs> I hear nothing yet. Oh, good. No leaks. We just check in here. Looks like there's no leaks. Cool. I don't know what that noise was. Let's just see if the water comes out. Ooh. Cool. All right. Let me see if this hot water comes out. Nice. All right. Everything is good. And you guys know I hate plumbing, but I like anything when it goes right. There go. So yeah, we are good. And that's it. So first job was, uh, Switching out the cartridge from the, the, the bathtub in the master bedroom. That was easy. Then I also had to do the fill in the rest of the gaps for the rodent issues. And then now I'm here and I changed this out real easy. I think I started at um, maybe around 10, 1030. And it's now like 230. So 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, uh, 11, 12, 1, 2. So four hours and today's total it's probably like more than 300, I could definitely say. Because I'm going to charge like 115 for the, the first job for just the plumbing. And I already quoted to go there and do that, do the rodent issues. And now this would be like another 100, 115. So definitely around 300 plus in four hours. So not bad, right? So you guys like my content? Make sure you can subscribe, comment. Please give me a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.